Hey everybody, it's Lee with Oregon Arbor Culture, Arbor Now. Hey, we're gonna talk about something that uh, has come up a little bit recently. We're getting close to the fall, and is it a good time to fertilize your trees, and how does that look, and how do you do it? So right now, we're gonna talk a little bit about it. I have here some very fine compost, and that's what you're looking for. Fine compost is the ideal compost to use. The big chunks and sticks, it's gonna stick out too much. And for a tree, I wanna add compost, but I also wanna look at the drip line. So if I were to come out here, right about here is my drip line. So if I'm fertilizing right at the root system, right at the trunk, there isn't much for absorbing roots there, and most of that will be lost to the tree. But out here, this is where the absorbing roots are, and this is where I can do the most good. So my favorite technique is I just take my wheelbarrow obviously and I've already done some so I'm just filling in the gaps and I'll start and I'll try to get a nice six foot swath spread out nicely right where the roots will be right at that drip line that we talked about and then I'll keep doing this all the way around the tree and what I'll do is I'll come back through and I'll rake over the top of this and kick down any of the high spots. And that's already been raked over there, just to give you an example. You can barely tell that it's been done, but it'll, it'll add some much needed micronutrients to this area of the soil. You gotta remember, we're mowing these lawns, we're taking all of the grass clippings and throwing it in the trash. The, the grass is taking more and more nutrients and minerals all the time, and it's not, ever putting anything back. So this is how we're gonna put some of the stuff back. Now the next step is we're gonna go through with a complete fertilizer, which in this case is gonna be a triple 16. So that means it has nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And I'll do the same thing with, uh, with a handful, so to speak, right at the drip line. And I'll just go back and forth. It's not a lot, it's really a handful just did about four feet. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go like that all the way around once I get done with the fine compost. And then for this particular tree species, this is an Oregon white ash and it's suffering from some fungal infections. I'm gonna get some wettable sulfur. This is all sulfur, none of the extra chemicals. And it's dusty, so you gotta be careful. But the idea is it doesn't take very much and it's wettable, so I'm just gonna do a couple little applications as I go through for this entire tree. We might be looking at maybe five or six handfuls, so I'm just the, the cup of my hand. So it might be a couple of cups by the time I'm done with it. And that will give it enough of a boost of sulfur and where these two trees interact, it'll also help the other tree as well. But I'll be going around the rest of the trees that way that need it. And really, it's kind of a secret, but arborists know all trees need sulfur right now, especially in the Pacific Northwest. Do a soil test when you can see what's deficient. That helps you know how to regulate the soil and help them out. What we're doing right now is going to feed the roots when they most need it. So throughout the winter time, roots are still doing some work. They're mostly doing, uh, they're mostly just storing the essential stuff from the tree, but at the same time, they are still moving water around that's why you see maple trees that will that will bleed out so one of the things that they need is early in the spring to have all this ready the water has dissolved as much of the minerals and nutrients that it can it's bringing it down into the root system and they're able to get to it right away and that's what we want so this is a great way to go you can do it anytime right before the fall anytime during the fall it doesn't really matter you can go clear through the winter depending on how you know you wouldn't do it on top of snow that would be the only difference so Check it out. See if that works for you. Make sure you tuck these trees in for the winter and we'll keep them healthy.